We are mission accomplished. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. Thank you, Colonel Sir. Frankly, we were on sweep up duty after you, sir. Ah, cut that. Sweep up duty. Sure. <laughs> on behalf of OSCOM, I'm issuing an official commendation. We serve OSCOM. <laughs> Great! We'll get out of those suits and go rest. Certainly, sir. Thank you, sir. So what was I, uh... Oh, I remember now. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint, all cold. You just took a week's worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. Right. Here. Thank you, and goodbye, Colonel Sir. Come aboard, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Hey, guys, get aboard. We give you lift to prospect. Thank you, sir, but we're waiting for the transports from HQ. There's enough space for everyone. Good luck, then. Let's go, Petrovich. Yes, sir. <laughs> Roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot, too. Ah, hey, uh, uh, no. Please, I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest, then. Thank you. Uh, don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Cras de Prospect. <laughs> Granddaughter getting worse? No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her, even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can, just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. Yeah, but enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petrovich. That we did. <laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just grow even thicker next time. Like it always does. I see the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Oh, and now this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. And soon the old counterfloating system will give up the ghost. <laughs> we'll have to row boats here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. Please, <laughs> spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. Happy New Year. Yeah, same to you. 
And don't forget, after the official ceremony, we'll be waiting for you and Kirill to drop by, as usual. We'll be there. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. But, General, sir, they won't go back. I don't need your excuses, Captain. If you take the initiative to do something, you must be ready to see the thing you started to the end. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you were out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. Background radiation? Yes. Stalkers brought this in from the SATCOM center. And now, I want your people to go there and find the fresh ones. Detailing the whole country so that we know where to go. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay? Go, Tolia. Cut to the chase. Are we preparing an evacuation? All right. This is strictly between us, mind you. Yes. We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps for now. Why the secrecy? It's good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the good news for last. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. Well, Happy New Year! Uh, wait a second. I better get home now. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer, unless... How about some tea? You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course I can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Oh, it definitely does. He used to be on the soft side, like his mom. He really toughened up now. You were always hard on him, almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. He's growing up a real man, an Oscom fighter. <laughs> yes, he is a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? <laughs> he still doesn't understand many things, and idealizes us. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is... complicated. You must do certain things. And then look into his eyes, thinking, would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero, Slava, isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Such a soppy load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. What I say, they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? 
Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. That was deep. Philosophical like. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course too. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes, Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go, go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. I hate making public addresses. <laughs> Colonel, sir. Hello, Colonel, sir. A happy new year to you. Come on, poor. We're going to be late. What do you mean, Grisha? There's a lot of time left. Besides, you're already tipsy. No, no, no. Grisha's right. We're going to be late drinking to... to friendship. Ah, yes, friendship. I guess... let's drink to things this year staying same as they were last year. Only... Hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't really go through. You'd better go up through the restaurant and get to the gallery from there. Thanks. Happy New Year. Same to you, Colonel, sir. You filthy drunkard! Just look at yourself, you pig! Look, Tanya, I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away! Oh, come on, Tanya! Come on! Just look! Look at what your son has to wear! Look at what I have to wear! There's no food at all! Do you understand that? Got it. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. Thank you, Colonel, sir. Give our regards to Kirill. Thank you. Happy New Year, sir. Thanks. By the way, it's been a while since I last saw Sasha from the third company. Do you know the guy? The one with big ears. He also keeps telling Happy me. New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. How about a drink? The first one is on the house tonight. Uh, tempting, but no, thanks. Suit yourself. You could drop by later, once you put your kid to sleep. We'll be open till dawn. Look, one day we are going to go outside, are we not? We are not models to live out our lives underground, you know. So, say we go outside and meet the army. Some units must have remained. I can't believe we're the only ones. So, who you meet? Let me at least hug you. Not now. Look, there's people around. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop that. Really. Nobody's even looking. Yeah, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush here. <laughs> Great disguise, Private. Though I must have. Oh. The mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late for my birthday. And Mom's anniversary, too. You see, I was just doing my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Now, turn it on. Mission accomplished! Good job, Private! Thank you! Oh, Dad, I have something for you! Here, Petrovich helped me fix it! 
Oh, thank you, son. Speaking of Petrovich, as soon as the official celebration is over, all personnel are to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. Yay! Arrive at Petrovich's clean face and dress uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow. The tree is so beautiful. Yes. Listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year. But all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year. Expecting change for the better. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Happy New Year! Damn! This sucks. The damn generator is out again. Kirill, Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear, Colonel. Over. Kirill, I'm at the trading stores. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's downstairs. Oscom HQ used to be there. They brought the green substitute from the people there. I see. Confiscations. Found it! Thank you, Private. to the authority. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava, and I'm not in the mood for jokes. What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. The archive is trashed. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split? people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest, you know the what's dregs? at stake. Our children among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me now. <laughs> Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. All right. <sighs> I want another smoke. How about you? Don't mind if I do. Help yourself then. <sighs> it's been a while since I had smokes like this. 
The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no green stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Naturally. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, you understand it all. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full-blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on leaving the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. But Zobi doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. True enough. <sighs> you know, I do feel drained. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. So, what did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stuff, Hello, sir. How can you do this to us? Colonel, please! Please, Colonel! Tell them to stop handing it out! We can't wait anymore! Oh my god. Colonel, sir. Permission to address. Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. What the hell is with you? I see. Let's go. Hey, I feel like you like me a lot. Watch what you touch, soldier boy. I just remember here. the new year. Come over here, Didn't sir! Didn't have a drink right over here? You remember? Of course I do. Open up, Petrovich. Slava. Thanks. Uh, come in. Follow me. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. Again? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock, and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Oh, this is so unfair. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but it we follow the rules. I found a cash set. It. He does have some. I cash Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. I bet it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. You know it's true. He has stashed. We should search more. There's a quarter to me. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice. Thanks for leaving me some. I'm sorry too. You were right about choice though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. 
Pay the rest! Look, officer, think about it. Where am I supposed to get so much? You took all the green stuff from the people, the trade is dead, and you saddled me with a quarter foot for a moment. Welcome to the Prospect. Please wait for process. And you can tell your superiors that. Saw that? Sure. Event Cuckoo from a dirty station, I gather. Or the depot. Come, open up. Oh, hello there, Private. I'm completely drained. Kirill? Hmm. All right, Private. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private! And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore! Right. Please, elaborate on that. I went to see Biraskaya, and I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I give it to them, started shouting. They beat them up, and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. You said Oscom protects people, but you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah. If I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers were wrong. I'll make sure they are punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They must apologize. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot. So give me your arm. All right. Kirill, Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Was this where the last battle happened? Over. Yes. I only know of it from Father's words. Right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Do you really?
really have to go? We didn't rest at all. The rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. Rioters? Tell me that. If we, Oskum, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them must be kept secret for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still, this is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life, yet I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. All right, time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I'm back. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, Dad. Good luck, son. Nothing. They would have never believed they found Water the Water under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Man the defenses! Yes, sir!
are all down, but the charges are set. We have to reach the detonation device and use it. Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel! No saving ammo! Roger that! HQ, Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I've got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. Colonel, sir! They blew the airlock and are coming down from the surface!
Hold them here! To the last man! There won't be any reinforcements! It's either us or them! Operation successful. Pawns are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. What do you mean? Already left. What? What's going on? We're covering evacuation. Evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. So you knew it! You knew it all along, you motherfucker! <coughs> Did I have a choice? What difference does it make now? I made a mistake leaving me at all. Petrov! Petrov! The fuckers left with ours! Get Seryoga on the line now! What? Dead? Seryoga? Son? Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up! Go! <coughs> So, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> so long, Slava.
Dad? Dad! Uh, Uncle Tolia? Did he just kill himself? Why? Don't look there. I'm sorry I broke your order. There was a shooting at the station. Then it all went quiet. And he didn't come. I was worried. And I went looking for you. Listen. I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth and who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now... Let's go home, son.